Today, we are not being sponsored, because no one's giving us money for this, but we're not being sponsored by Buzzball Chillers. These are meant for, specifically for women, but they have 15% alcohol, meaning that they're stronger than beer. Just one or two of these will fuck you up. And what I did was I made a slushy into it. Put a bunch of strawberries into this shit. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and yeah, I gotta tell you, just... It's fucking strong. I think it's stronger than the fucking tequila I was drinking last week. I'm not playing. This shit's fucking strong. And all I did was pour this little shit in there. They sell them in the corner stores, fellas. They're like three or four bucks, I think. Three something. And they have different ones. They got a coffee flavor. They got a lime and apple, margaritas, strawberries, gelatos, all that shit. Try it all. And if anything, buy it for your ladies so you can get her all loose and, and get laid tonight. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Happy Friday. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate you motherfuckers for being here. Let's hit it for Super Saiyan Joku, who is here today. I want to have the world, the world's most comfortable pair of ultra soft. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna hit it for the one, the only, Gomer motherfucking Kyle! What's your name, scumbag? Gomer Pie? Private Pie, I'm gonna give you three seconds to wipe that stupid looking grin off your face, or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you! One, two, three! Shazam! Mad Dog will fuck you up too. Uh, but this is something new that I found in the store, and I, I didn't know what it was because the guy didn't. Even, it wasn't even in the, uh, like in the freezer. It was behind the counter, and I asked him like, "Hey, what is that, dude? There's these little balls there that he had." He's like, "Chillers, you want one? Buy one, it's three dollars." And I was like, "Hey, give me, give me the watermelon. Let me try that bitch out." I said, "Oh yeah, it's strong. I'm not playing, man. Like they made that shit for women, but it's made to get women buzzed, so you can, so you can get laid. That's what it's made for. It's like those emas. They say those emas, but those emas were packed with alcohol, motherfuckers." Ah. Anyways, uh. Our channels, you know, we got three channels in case we get banned, the emergency one, and we used to have the illegal broadcast channel, but that got taken down because we were watching illegal pay-per-views on it. I'm still debating whether we're going to do the next time, if we're just going to go ahead and do the Discord and, and not even stream it live, we'll just be Discord, you have the Discord, then you get to see it and shit. Uh, but we'll see, man. Go ahead and subscribe and all that ass. But we're gonna get to it, man, because we got a lot of shit to, to fucking go over today. Let's get into the fucking comments, y'all. Uh, Son of Man 665 for the X with Elon Musk and at the underscore underground underscore broadcast for Instagram IG. Uh, for the fucking TikToks, don't even worry about it because we're not reposting there anymore because they shadow bad us, those sons of bitch, yes. Anyways, uh, we are going to have a new segment at the end of the comments. Uh, Gomer Kyle is going to have a new segment. Hopefully, he doesn't uh, drop the ball from now on, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's start with the motherfucking comments, y'all. And uh, we're going to start with some guy named Johnny Dome Studios, and he's got a chicken. On his avatar. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Before I even... Let me take this off. I'm sorry, y'all. You can't start the show. That's because usually Joku sends me something. Joku, you fucked up. Joku sends me some paraphernalia shit, and we get stuck started talking about weed. That's how we start the show. We're talking about weed and shit like that, you know? <laughs> Motherfucker, but he sent me nothing today, so I forgot to talk about weed, you know? Um... Don't worry, y'all. I got one right here. Ready, joint, rolled up and shit. Ready for all y'all motherfuckers. Uh, but I did want to try this real quick. I got a Ghost Essence Blend. Ghost Essence Blend. Uh, this one is 
uh, lemon cherry gelato. Shit. It's 2,000 milligrams. It says it's live batter, THCA, HHC, whatever that means, and THCP, which knocks you the fuck out, supposedly. So, here it is. Brand new. Jukes. We'll try this out. I just, it's going to feel the same as the other one because it's the exact same thing, but I just want to see uh, what it tastes like because I already ran out of the other one. Uh, I got a battery right here, so... Hopefully it still has charge. I'm going to take one or two hits before I light the joint. But I just want to see what this makes me feel like. I'm a fresh batch right here, motherfuckers. <laughs> um, it doesn't taste any different than the other one. I will say it's smoother. A little bit. Here comes the cough. Sorry about that. <laughs> <coughs> it's weird it's like the cough is delayed you know like when you smoke weed you know when you're supposed to cough but this one comes afterwards like after the smoke the, the, the vape is not even in you um I don't know I was expecting it to taste different it don't taste any fucking different cherry gelato cherry what <coughs> lemon cherry gelato my ass <coughs> They're trying to ban some of those last ones you said. Yeah, because, I mean, they should just legalize weed. The motherfuckers. They're fucking around too much and shit. <coughs> Anyways, fuck all that shit. Let's get with the comments. We'll see how that makes me feel in a little bit. I'll keep smoking that. I'll save the joint for later. Anyways, <coughs> this guy with the chicken... Johnny Dumb Dome Studios on the Son of Man has a grudge against James Gunn continues. He says, that guy just hates everything. Yeah, well, uh, it's, it, it's kind of part of the shtick, you dumbass. Anyways, cheers, Johnny Dome Studio. Thank you for commenting, you dumbass. <laughs> Anyways, let's go on to somebody else who fucking leaves something better. Oh, Rocco, fuck my life. This fucking Satanist. Let me hit it for him. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Rocco. Rocco on the salt stings around the rim. And by the rim, I didn't mean the rim of your drink. I ran the rim of your asshole. Um, he says, yo, this is a perfect casting. I hope this is real. Cheers, son of man. He's, uh, that's because I know the title doesn't make any sense, but the, the, the radio was actually about Kumail Nanjiani being Booster Gold, supposedly, rumor. So he, he's excited about it, fellas. And of course, he goes ahead and says, hashtag. Live. Hashtag Trump 2024. Hashtag Trump hard as fuck. Trump is hard as fuck. Oh, fuck it, this guy. Anyways. Uh, cheers, Rocco. Thank you for commenting. We're going to talk about that later. You motherfuckers. Don't be saying some shit in here. Trump son, 2024. Nah, he chose Vance. The pussy. Anyways, we'll talk about that later on. Um, fuck you, Rocco. Thank you for commenting, you dick. He also left another comment on uh, Spider-Man, the amazing Spider, the amazing life of Spider-Man. With Tobey Maguire getting laid with 20-year-olds. He says, Pimp Daddy Toby has become a dirty old Spider-Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He taken pointers from McConaughey. That's what I love about these high school... Oh, wait, wait, let me try to do... That's what I love about these high school girls. I keep getting older. But they stay the same age. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Cheers, son of man. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag emo Peter Parker for live. This guy. Uh, I probably should have gotten that thing. But uh, yeah, McConaughey. Uh, days and confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I love about these high school girls. I keep getting older. They stay the same age. 
All right, all right, all right. The fucking dirty old man. He's like, like 35 years old, picking up high school girls. That was so fucking cringe and creepy. Even Affleck. Affleck looked too old to be in that high school movie and shit. That movie was cool, though. I liked it. Uh, it was kind of like the, the first super bad, you know, back in the day. Donald's was not my pick and not Vance. He's up in alpha black, dude. Hey, you save that rhetoric for later, Gober. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, motherfucker. Happy Friday, y'all motherfuckers. All right, all right. Let's keep going. Oh, Doug Unfunny. Let me hit it for this guy. Well, guess what? Uh, and on the VFX for the studios are bad. Oh, wait a minute. Anthony Timmons just showed up. <laughs> Timmons, you're one of the ones that if I ever upgrade my shit and get a bigger Steam Deck. Because I only have 15 keys on this bitch. And it's in only 10 pages, apparently, because I maxed it out today. We have so much shit for the comic book shit. Uh, but if I ever get enough bigger equipment, I'm going to make you an intro. You and uh, whoever the other fucking son of a bitch was that I forgot. <laughs> Windham, Windham. <laughs> Anyways, cheers, Timmons. Thank you for being here, motherfucker. Happy Friday. Let's keep this going. Doug, I'm funny on the bad VFX videos. Says the trailer seemed like it was trying too hard. That's the Captain America trailer he's talking about. And yes, the VFX look terrible. Amazing how these pieces of shit cost into hundreds of millions, and this is the best they can achieve. Shaking my head. Cheers, son. Hashtag. Oh, hashtag Trump is my president. Hashtag Trump 2024. I think we all know what kind of episode this is going to be. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> We're probably going to get banned tonight. It's all right. Who gives a fuck? Lift your fits up. Yeah! Fight, fight, fight. Anyways, let's keep going, let's keep going. Cheers, Doug, I'm funny. Thank you for commenting. <laughs> On the amazing life of Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire, fucking 20-year-olds. Um, ya boy, Black Weep. Ah, it's been a while since a motherfucker been a commenting and shit. He says, uh, three views fell off. What? Oh, do you, do you think he means that three views were taken away from the fucking video? Fucking YouTube. Y'all tell me on the videos if you go and it doesn't let you press like or it doesn't let you share or any of that shit. They're fucking banning and shadow assing me because I look different and I'm brown and shit and I look like a woman. The racists. The motherfuckers. It's 2024. They should be allowed everywhere. The motherfuckers can be hateful. So can I. The fuck? Yo, boy, Black Weep. Thank you for watching. You let me know. They keep fucking with us, man. I think they are. They don't like me. They don't. That's all I'm saying. I've been getting less and less every week. More and less videos. Less and less views and shit. Fuck you. YouTube. You bastards. Anyways, fuck you. Let's keep it going. Thank you, Black Weed. Oh, let me get this. Oh, shit. What did I do? I pressed the button here and it fucked up like always. Oh, my God, fellas. I hope you all are ready for this. But he's here tonight. None other. Then the future president of the United States, the trumpets will sound. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs. I want to build the wall. We need the wall. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. Get them the fuck out of here, Trump. 
All those illegal motherfuckers. We'll talk more about it later on tonight. But for now, let us hear what the future president-elect said tonight. Hola muchacho, sorry I've been absent, but I've had quite the eventful week as you may have heard. Last Saturday, Sleepy Joe tried to off me. For a second, I thought it was he who should not be named. But instead, it was just another four-eyed non-binary who couldn't shoot fish in a barrel. So add this to a long list of things Joe Biden has failed at. The support for America and myself has been overwhelming. Thanks to great Americans like Gomer Kyle and Houston's Texas very own Joe Cool the Greaser. We will get the job done this election year. Cheers to the woke pack. And as always, hashtag. Woke Oh, yeah, cheers, trumpets! <laughs> Crazy motherfucker, always, always going, like, off the record and being controversial up in this bitch. Yeah, yeah, uh, he talked about he who should not be named. <laughs> he thought it was a mother four-eyed non-binary. <laughs> Oh, this comment is crazy. Oh my god. Cheers, the motherfuckers. Trump is so sad, man. I, uh, I wanna meet I wanna meet you one day, you son of a bitch, and find out who you really are. <laughs> Cause some of these comments you leave and then hearing like putting on their AI and hearing under his voice, it just makes it funnier and shit. Uh yeah, 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 yeah. So it's pretty badass. I like AI and shit. Uh, cheers, Trumpets will sound. Thank you for the comments, dude. It's always badass when you comment. It, it's funny to hear uh, to hear the comment with him with this guy. <laughs> cheers, uh, Trumpets. Thank you for entertaining us. You did. Happy Friday, Tibbets. <laughs> Sorry about that. I know I'm sniffing a lot, but I think I'm allergic to my makeup. That sucks. Anyways, go more Kyle on the real problem with the Acolyte video. It says, the problem with the Acolyte is it's trash and it's Disney's. That's the problem. Cheers, mofos. Yep, yep, yep. Well, we got the finale. We're going to review tonight, and it's I can tell you that right now. Uh, so get ready as I tear it apart tonight. We got a lot of fucking reviews tonight. We got the boys. I also got a review uh my fucking um what's it called? The other house of the dragon. I'm gonna review all of the Deadpool spoilers one week before we finish, because that's all that's left, and a bunch of other shit. This is a fool. It's a big show. It's a big show tonight, fellas. It's just too damn bad. Only four people watch us. Oh well. Let's keep going. Thank you, Gober Cow. He also on the remembering Shelley Long says, R.I.P. Ms. Duvall. This week was rough for celebrities. Oh, my God. Go first. Quit getting ahead. We're going to talk about it tonight. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We're S.R.P. Shelly Duvall. That was last week. This week, we got a lot of more deaths to talk about. God damn it. Cheers, Gomer. Thank you for that. Oh, next is a Super Saiyan Joku. Uh, Super Saiyan uh, Joku says on the bad baby baby, baby dad abuse bad baby got a baby baby daddy a bad baby daddy if he hits you once he'll hit you again but that's disgusting to see and she'll go right back to him the abuser and make it look like it's okay to go through but he should be getting the jonathan major sentence counseling right no, no, this guy's not that famous. If this guy goes to, he'll go to jail for sure for beating that little girl. Uh, but you're right. She's just going to go back to him. She's already posting pictures of him if kissing with him, with him. I'm sorry, baby, and shit like that. I overreacted. You dumbass. We'll see. Rights and a man keep us updated. Well, I just did. Yeah, she's a dumbass. She's a dumb hoe. She's already back with him and, and, and loving on him and taking pictures, kissing him with a black eye. With a dumbass. Ma Flowers. Hashtag. Live. 
Look, some women are like some men. Some men are in dumb, abusive relationships, and those dumb sons of bitches stay there while the women cheat on them and cuck them and all this ass and fuck their, all their friends. And then they stay there and be loyal and, and forgive her all the time. That's their fault for being dumbasses. And the same thing goes for the woman who stays there while they keep being beaten every goddamn night. They're fucking idiots. I just saw a movie just, just yesterday. There's a movie and this girl, like, the guy, the guy will beat her up till she's in the hospital and shit. Like, literally, her face doesn't even look like the elephant man, how bad he beat her. And she still loves him. Fuck you! You know, I don't understand people like that. Why you want to be like that? You play the victim. God damn it. You should be the one beating people up. Not get beaten on, you dumbasses. God damn it. I would be a really good counselor. Maybe I should have been a counselor instead of being this bullshit. Maybe I want to get more people listening to me than you three assholes here tonight. You motherfuckers. Cheers! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Let's keep it going. Oh, let me make sure this is the last comment. Oh, yeah, and it is. The last comment is none other than Houston, Texas, very own Jose Trevino. Repite su nombre, por favor. Houston, Texas. Eh, soy americano, mexicano, señor. Para que usted se cuadre, ¿ok? Oh, yeah. Tienes envidia, puto. Nah, cheers. Jose Trevino, you fucking guy. Jose Trevino on the podcast video says, What up, son? I haven't listened in a while. Been out of town dealing with things. Then I came back to Houston and bam, your girl barrel sucked out all of Houston's power. Yeah, you guys were out for a while and shit. Maybe that's why we didn't get views, because everybody, all, uh, my, all my fans are in Houston, Texas, and they didn't have power the past week and a half. No wonder we only got 13 views on the fucking podcast. Now it makes sense, fellas. God damn it. Fucking hurricanes ruining the views of YouTube. Anyways, we could have had millions of subscribers already. Then they tried to take out the great white hope, Mr. Trumpet. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about that tonight. Now, a mother-loving cyber attack. Yes, fellas, today. That's some horse ass. It feels like a relentless, never-ending attack. This might sound corny, but every time I start listening to your show, everything is better, bro. Oh, cheers! <laughs> Because the son of man is here to save you. Joe Trevino. Son of man saves people. All right. Never forget. Thank you and the woke pack for everything. Classic son. Oh, yeah. Hashtag. Live. Hashtag. World order. And that's how we do, motherfuckers. I almost put the Gomer sting. Sorry. My bad. Pressing the wrong buttons there. Fuck it. I'm going to do it for you, Gomer. Here's for Gomer Kyle. Live. Ah, that's for you, Gomer. Cheers, motherfuckers. Mm. Anyways. I appreciate you guys for leaving comments. And uh, and uh, just showing up here every Friday and being fucked up with me. Because uh, that's what it's all about. Whatever you send me, your social medias, I'll put them here and shit. But before we finish the comments, we're going to do a little section that we're going to call Gomer's Redneck Life Advice. Uh, but today's life advice is a little different because it's going to just starting it out and shit. But we'll see if he drops the ball every week. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Here you go, Gomer. Let it go. This is Gomer Kyle. I try to make everything lighthearted and, uh, you know, laugh about stuff. And I want to do these redneck tips of the week for you guys and make you laugh. But this week, I got to be serious about something. Okay, karma 
you mess with karma, karma will always get you back. But if you fuck with Donald Trump, we're going to get you back. Trump 2024. Peace out. Hope pack for life. Have a good week, fellas. Cheers. Love you. Oh, Gomer Kyle, thank you for that, that fucking stern. <laughs> you didn't have no advice. You were just telling people off, Gomer. <laughs> Cheers, motherfucker. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> what is my shit stuck on here? I gotta suck it from the other end or something. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Send me shit to you, my social media and I'll post it here. It's basically what I'm trying to say. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.